Hello. Hello, good night. Hello. Good evening, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent. I am very happy to see you once again. Welcome to your class number 10. We are very glad to have the opportunity to be with you again. Okay. Thank you, my dear students, for being on time. I am very happy to have another chance to interact with all of you. Well, we had homework from yesterday. Yes, teacher. <laughs> yes, you had a lot of homework to do from yesterday to practice the past, the present, and the future. So we are going to start the class by asking you what was the best moment of your day today? What was the best moment of your day today? What was the best moment of your day? ¿Cuál fue el mejor momento de todo este día? I am going to give you one example. The best moment of the day today was when my friend gave me some cheese pupusas in the morning. <laughs> wow! Yay! It's a pupusas for breakfast. That was very good. So that was the best moment of the day. What was the best moment of your day? We're going to start with Mr. Julio and then with Blanca. Uh, let me try to remember the best, the best, the best, the best scene. The best thing or the best moment of today? Um, when I uh, take take when I was take the, the breakfast with my uh, to say compañeros partners co-workers partners, co-workers yeah it, it, and we are walk uh, we are we are all about uh, the soccer football player in the last day. Okay, so when you were talking or when you were having breakfast with your co-workers and you were talking about soccer. That was good, very good. So that was the best moment of your day. Blanca, what was the best moment of your day? Um, the best moment, the best part of the day was when the work was finished <laughs> when the work really? was over yes. when it was because four o'clock or what time do you finish working today i finished 6 p.m because i need to mm -hmm. go uh, for my kids okay. for my so-called uh, soccer uh, class mm -hmm. and i i am really tired and 6 p.m isn't enough <laughs> the best part of the day. That was the best part of the day. Yes. The work was over. Let's see. Uh, Anayansi, what was the best part of your day? Teacher, for me, no good. Oh, really? It was not good. Why? No. Uh, uh, today, no, no was, was, no uh -huh. was, was, not? was, I lie. Oh, really? You didn't like the day today? Hoy no le gustó su día. ¿Por qué no le gustó su día? Uh, how do you say uh, no hubo luz? Ah, I didn't have electricity. You say, I didn't have electricity. Uh, I didn't. I didn't have. How electricity. electricity. Today. Oh, okay. So that was definitely not a good day. Uh, yes. por, eso, por eso no puedo poner la cámara. No tengo mucho internet. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. We understand. So a day without electricity, it's for sure difficult. Yes. Mr. Marlon Ivan, what was the best part of your day? The best part of the day, it was I arrived to my house. 
when you arrive home. That was very good. Yes. Is Ismael Martinez, what was the best part of your day? Um, I it was taken um in the company and we have the chance to to take an exam uh -huh. an english exam and i i took it today unfortunately i didn't pass it but it was a, a good moment because now i know how it is for the future that's good and what was the most difficult part for you uh, it was the thing is that it was a, an automated system and the system said like phrases or sentences and, and we had to repeat exactly what the system said. Oh, yeah. So it's like it's like repeating. We need to show intonation, pronunciation and uh, Fluency. We had, we had, and fluency, yeah, we <laughs> had to sound like a native. Okay, uh-huh. And, uh -huh. and, and the minimum score was a 8.5 mm -hmm. to pass it, and I got a 7. So well, I was, but that's that's good. That's very I good. Wasn't, <laughs> yeah, but I was really disappointed because uh, it, this is something internal in the company, but whenever someone passes the test, and they increase the salary. The oh, salary, so I am going to give you tips. If you want to increase mm -hmm. the pronunciation and fluency, read books aloud. Lea okay. libros, pero lea, libra, mm -hmm. lea los libros en voz alta. Porque a veces okay. uno lee libros y uno dice, hey, qué chivo leo, qué chivo sueno en mi cabeza. Leí todo correctamente en un libro en inglés. Pero de repente cuando uno ya agarra un libro en inglés, una frase, un, cualquier cosa que tenga en inglés, un artículo que encuentre en internet y lo lee en voz alta y si se puede grabar, se graba, se da cuenta los errores de pronunciación que tiene. Uh -huh. Porque hasta el más experimentado le tiembla a leer en voz alta. ¿Por qué? Porque uno aquí arriba suena bien chivo. Hasta a mí me pasaba de que yo en mi mente decía, ah, que no sé qué, ta, 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 bueno, cuando estaba leyendo. Pero cuando uno agarra un libro y lo lee en voz alta, le ayuda con su fluency, pronunciation, intonation, the pronunciation of the words, the pronunciation of every letter and every sound, ¿ok? Porque a veces leemos solo por encima. No leemos las palabras como tienen que ser. Entonces ese es un tip que les dejo ahí para que eh, mejoren su para... pronunciación y su fluency y si se pueden grabar si se pueden grabar en whatsapp hagan un grupo ustedes con ustedes mismos y grábense todas las noches contando qué tal fue su día lo que hicieron, qué no hicieron, cómo fue y todo y después se escuchan y ahí van a ir mejorando cada día sí. porque los peores sí. errores y los que más cuesta encontrar son los propios porque si alguien le manda un audio a usted hoy Hoy, como dijo, children's. Pero si usted lo oye de su boca, entonces ya dice uno, ay, y yo digo eso. Entonces, es, es una muy buena técnica. Funciona muy, muy bien. Así sí, que ahí le, ahí, le dejo el, ahí le dejo el tip. Mr. Ah, sí. Miguel Lara, how was your day? What was the best part of your day? Hi, teacher. Um, hi. Today is only work. Only work, right? Yes. Was it was it something good in today? Algo que usted diga, ¿qué chivos tuvo eso? Not really. I I, I was uh, all day busy. Busy. I was busy. busy. You say I was busy. Okay, so that was very good. And the last one is going to be Mr. Milton. Tell me something good about today. I good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Teacher? Yes. Okay. I think my best my best moment is what's uh, the hour of the the hour for the lunch. Oh good. Because, uh -huh. because from the morning the work is very, very hard. And then uh, the hour uh, for the lunch is is very nice 
uh, because um, after to take a rest, a uh, more or less one uh, one hour. Oh, that's cool. And you then, have one free hour. Yes, yes, one free uh, free hour. Uh, on the afternoon is normally, but in the morning is uh, it was very very hard. Okay, good. So the lunch time was the best part of the day. Excellent, my dear students. Thank you very much for sharing. I asked just a couple of you. I didn't ask everybody, but uh, this was very good for you to practice a little bit of what happened today in your day. So right now we are going to go and work in groups. We are going to work in groups of three. Okay, and on the groups, what you are going to do, you are going to share the sentences that you created in past, in present, and in the future, right? But before we go to the sentences, before we go there, I am going to uh, show you something that I have here. So this is what we were doing yesterday, right? Tenses in the past, present, and future, right? We were practicing the conversation, and we did some extra practice on the time contrasts, right? The things that happened in the past, in the present, and in the future. And for sure, we did a little exercise with the chart, right? That is the one that you are going to use in the groups right now. But before you go to the groups, I have a little practice for you to uh, exercise your pronunciation. Do you know what these things are? Uh -huh. These Teacher. are yes. Uh, I'm sorry. I think they are a tongue twister. They are tongue twisters, and they help you to exercise your pronunciation because you are going to go to a speaking exercise. I am going to help you a little bit to exercise your mouth and your speaking. And I have two uh, here that are easy, and I have another one that it's a little bit more complicated. Mm -hmm. So, for the first one, this is a tongue twister. Es un trabalenguas, right? The first one says, Fussy Wussy was a bird. Fussy Wussy had no hair. Fussy Wussy wasn't very fussy, was he? Can you help me to read it? Mr. Milton, can you help me to read the first one? Fussy Wussy was a bird. Fussy a Wussy bird. Had <laughs> okay, a little bit, a little bit. Por ahí vamos, por ahí vamos. But the pronunciation, listen to the pronunciation. Fussy Wussy was a bird. Fussy Wussy had no hair. Fussy Wussy wasn't very fussy, was he? Okay, let's see. Mr. Miguel, help me to read the first one. Fussy Wussy was a bear. Fussy Wussy had no hair. Fussy Wussy wasn't very fussy. Was he? Very good job. Very good job, Miguel. Very good job. Let's see. We're going to ask Mr. Julio Roberto to read the first one. Okay. Fussy Wussy was a bear. Fussy Wussy had no hair. Fussy Wussy wasn't very fussy. Was he? Very good job. Excellent job. Now, Blanquita, can you do it a little bit faster? Fussy Wussy was a bear. Fussy Wussy had no hair. Fussy Wussy wasn't very fussy, was she? Very good. <laughs> very good job. Ana Romero, help me to read the first one. Fussy Wussy was a bear. Fussy Wussy had no hair. Fussy Wussy wasn't very fussy. Was he? Very good. Tito, can you help me to read the first one? Fussy Wussy was a bear. Fussy Wussy had no ear. Fussy Wussy was very fussy, was he? Hair, hair. Now, we are going to go to the second one. And it says, how much wood would a wood chuck 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 if a wood chuck chuck could chuck wood? <laughs> <laughs> How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck chuck could chuck wood? Okay, <laughs> let's see. Heidi, can you help me with the how much wood would a woodchuck chuck 
chuck, 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 good chuck. <laughs> okay, the first one. The first Thanks, one. Teacher. Go Pussy ahead. Goosey was a bill. Pussy Goosey has no hair. Pussy Goosey wasn't very hot. Was he? <laughs> okay, bear. Fussy Woozy was a bear. Fussy Woozy had no hair. Fussy Woozy wasn't very fussy. Was he? Let's see. Mr. Marlon Ivan, the second one. How much wood will a woodchuck? Chuck it a woodchuck. Cold shoot wood. Very good. Right? That was very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Let's see. We are going to ask. We are going to ask Mr. Ismael to read the second one. Okay. Uh, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would wood? <laughs> no, me <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Again. Again. Okay. Ismael. Oh. Ismael. Go ahead. <laughs> how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Very good job. Very good job. <laughs> Catherine, the second one. Go ahead. <laughs> good evening. Hello, good, good evening. evening. <laughs> how, how much? Well, well, uh, how much? <laughs> okay, let's go. Let, let's go word by word. Vámonos palabra por palabra. Okay. How much? Well, well, uh, how took? Took if, uh, well, to? How to well? <laughs> yeah, I know it's very complicated, right? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? And it would be like, what? Wow. <laughs> the last one. We're going to practice the last one, and this is going to be for everybody, right? Everybody's going to do it with me, okay? It says, if two witches have, okay, if two witches watch two watches, which witch would watch which watch? Which will watch which watch? Let's go, let's go phrase by phrase. If two witches watch two watches, which witch would watch which watch? Which will watch? Watch, to watch, which, which, watch, watch, watch. Okay, everybody at the same time. Abramos todos los micrófonos. Vamos a ir todos juntos. A la una. A las dos. And we're going to go on the count of three. Go. It's to watch, 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 watch. What? Okay, one, two, three, go. If which watch to watches, which which watch, which which watch, what which watch? Yeah, yeah. From one to ten. Teacher. Yes. I have a problem with the uh, symbol, <laughs> the final, uh, uh -huh. the inter interrogation. No, yes, interrogation. No. Yeah, the question mark. The question. Sorry, and the. Watch which watch is the sound for the question. <laughs> yeah, because it says like which which would watch which watch. Okay. Okay, you go up on the question. If two witches watch two watches, which which will watch which watch? Okay, let's do it again. One, two, and three. If two witches watch two watches, which which watches which watch? Very good. Excellent. Very good. So this is for you to see that not only the kids have difficulties, but we still need to work a lot. These exercises uh, help you a lot for you to open, articulate, and work on your fluency. Okay? They are going to help you a lot. Well, my dear students, we are going to go to the sharing time. We are going to go and, and work together. So I am going to make the groups. You are going to receive the invitation for the group. And we're going to work together and you are going to share the examples that you created for the past, for the present, and for the future. And later when we come back, I am going to ask for some volunteers to give us examples, okay? So let's go to the groups right now. Let's go to the groups. Ya llego por ahí. 
Okay, accept my invitation. There you go, there you go, very good. There you are going to receive my invitation to join the groups. Click on it, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All my students are in the different groups. Okay. I am going to send a message of what we are going to do in the groups. And then I am going to go and see how they are doing. You are going to share the sentences that you created. In past, in present, and in the future. I am going to send a message to all of them. And we're going to go and visit the different rooms to see how students are doing. Let's go. Okay, no problem. Wow, si gustan. Si gustan, comienzo yo en pasado con dos, después en presente con dos, y después en futuro con dos, y después cada uno, o uno cada uno. ¿Cómo quieren? Creo que uno. Uno. Ajá. Okay. Está bien. Ok, eh, sería. Eh, the past, uh, 10 years ago, I was a teenager. Present, uh, no people are dying from pandemic. In future, in the future, the pandemic is expand to disappear. Who's next? Siguiente. Ok. Sigo yo. Good. Ok. okay. Eh, on Saturday... Uh, uh, pass. On Saturday there were a lot uh, of tourists in el Tunco. Eh, present Today I have a little flu. Uh, future, we will have a new, a new baby at home. Oh, congratulations! Really? Thank you. <laughs> Is it real? Is it real? Yeah. Ah, congratulations! Yours. Thank you. No. <laughs> okay. No. Who's your daughter? Yeah. Ah, it's so cute. Congratulations. <laughs> Continue. Okay. Who's next? I. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Go ahead. When when I was a kid, I play at the street. Here I. True. Okay. For the present and for the future, Heidi. Um, the sentence for the present and the sentence the, for the future. Uh, okay. Uh, the today is a word is a ah, teacher. I yeah. today is a fun water crystal. Oh really? <laughs> yes, it's a. Agotado, how do you say? Uh, it's uh, it was over sale or it was like uh, over sale. Over sale. The, the weekendly pass. Really? Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and the and the, the today is the um, buy the three. How do you say garrafon teacher? Three bottles. Yes, wow. three bottles. Yes. <laughs> oh really? Tenemos yes. escasez de agua. <laughs> eh, no, es de es de water, eh, agua cristal only. Oh, really? Yes. Yes, es de, um, how do you say, es arruinó, de machine, de machine. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my 
my God. Yes, teacher. We need to buy a lot of water, of crystal water. Yes. <laughs> commercial. Yes. Commercial. Yes. Yes, so, thank you. Thank you, Heidi. And the, the sentence for the future? In the future, I uh, in the five years is a uh, uh, is how do you say is pensionado? <laughs> Depending. Uh, let me see. Uh, what is the sentence? Give me the idea of the sentence. Uh, in the in the next year, uh, in the próximos años espero estar pensionada. <laughs> <laughs> in the in the next years, I will be. Retired. I retired. Yes, retired. Yes. yes. Retire and retire. Ah. <laughs> retire. <laughs> yeah, for the two. Retired. Very good. Uh, Mr. Julio, go ahead. Okay. In the nineties, the music was very good. Definitely. Uh, now we have a lot of work. In the future. The pandemic disappears. Oh, hopefully it's going to be like yeah. that. In the future, the pandemic will disappear. Good. Will continue disappear. continue sharing your examples, please. And uh, choose the three examples that you are going to share for the group. Okay. Escojan los tres ejemplos que van a compartir con eh, los demás grupos. Okay? I'm, I'm going to go and see how the other ones are doing. Okay. Continue practicing. I'm the teacher. Well, hey. Hey, take it easy, teacher. <laughs> I am checking. I am yeah. checking on what you are doing. Come on. <laughs> you you are a, a, a spy. I, yeah, I am like yeah, a good spy. Uh, yeah. yes, yes. I, I will I will work you, for the FBI. <laughs> no, you are you movie. are watching movie the, the gay bone. Oh uh, yeah. Sorry, Miguel, what was your question? And uh, the question is uh the uh, las oraciones uh -huh. sería una por por los ejemplos que tenemos como in the past uh -huh. ten in the past ago. ten years ago una por cada uno okay, okay. Ah, pero, pero en grupo en grupo teacher o individual no it was supposed that that was the homework esa era la tarea la tendrían que haber hecho en el día I have teacher, uh -huh. right. you have it you have it that was very good yeah. okay but in the group you are going to share examples and then you are going to share the examples that you are going to share with the complete group okay you have to exchange the examples that you have sus ejemplos los van a compartir y de ahí van a escoger las que quieren compartir con el grupo, que sean dos de pasado, dos de presente y dos de futuro como grupo. ¿Cuáles van a compartir? So you have to okay. decide. Okay, I am going to go with group number three and I am going to come back with you. Work on that, okay? Continue okay. working. Continue working. Graduaron ya tiempo. My friend graduated from teacher a long day out. No sé si gradu el graduate está bien. My friends My graduated, friends were... graduated from teaching a long time ago. That was good. That's good. It's a good time. Teacher, it's with refiriendo... my, uh, my friends or with my friends? Uh, no, in this case, because uh, 10 years ago. The others. Uh, because in this case, you are talking about other people. You say 10 yes. years ago. My friends graduated from teaching. Uh, in this case, what you don't need, it's a long time ago. Because here, and I am trying to change it. I am not. The... <laughs> okay. La costumbre. Yo quería editar ahí lo que se está compartiendo. Pero dice, 10 years ago, y ahí ya tiene la time expression. 10 years ago, coma, my friends graduated from teaching. Hasta ahí. Porque si tenemos a long time ago, ya es otra time expression que nos mm -hmm. puede servir para otra oración. Mm -hmm. Entonces, 10 years ago, my friends graduated from teaching. Hasta ahí llega la oración. Sí. Ok, entonces. ¿Ah? Porque a long time ago ya nos da espacio para otra oración. Ahí podemos decir, a long time ago, eh, music was very eh, instrumental. Something like that. Just mm -hmm. to give you one idea. So, erase a long time ago. Mm -hmm. En la primera, teacher... Uh, in the past, my friends and I like to play football on the street. Football 
F O O T. Football. Foot football. Lleva... Football. F O O T B A L L. Eh, puede ser, eh, se puede hablar el soccer aquí. Yeah, in this case, soccer is the most soccer. appropriate because it is the one that you play because football is American football. Okay, so it's not like the normal football, soccer. S O O S O. No, no, no. S O C C E R. S O, only one O. S O C C E R. Care, care. Ajá, la una de las O. C C E R. C C E R. C C E R. Soccer. No, but that's S. C C. C. Perdón. There you go. Soccer. Soccer in the street. On the street. On the street. Porque se refiere a sobre la superficie de la calle. On the street. On. On the street. Good. Uh, my friends like to play spinning, spinning top. Y ahí también le quitamos el a long time ago. Porque ya tenemos una frase previa. Soccer on the street. Y cuando dice when I was a kid es when. Ay, eh, hasta el, el spinning, hasta ahí. Ah, spinning, top. spinning top. top. Spinning ah, top. Ese es el, el, el trompo. Sí. Spinning top. Y ahí le quita yes. el a long time ago. También a la de arriba se lo quita. Eh, okay. When I was a kid. When. W-H-E-R. E-N. W-H-E-N. Ok. Eh, el when is watch is true. Está bien. Pero, yeah, pero aquí dice when. El when lo han escrito mal ahí. Para que no se les vaya el error. Eh, my... Aquí en la tercera línea. When oh. I was a kid. Dice. When I was in school, my friends like to play inside the school walls. That's good. Ahí dice, when I was a kid. Ahí ya, ahí está. In the 90s, in the 90s, my friends like tropical music. That's good. I haven't visited my relatives in a long time. That's good. Ajá, pero esa frase está buena. Pero si ponemos, a few years ago, I haven't visited my relatives, ahí no, no da la frase. Okay? I haven't visited... My relatives in a long time. Entonces ahí le quita él a few years ago. Déjele el in a long time. El, el, la primera frase, a few years ago. O le podemos lo, poner. Eh. Ok, ahí le, la podemos arreglar de esta manera. A few years ago, I used to visit my relatives more. A few years ago, I used to visit my relatives. It's like solía visitar. A mis eh, parientes. Here. In this one, a few years ago, you can say, I, okay, I'm going to write it here. I used to visit my relatives, let's say, on Sundays. Okay. Solía visitarlos los domingos. A few years ago, right? Okay, that can be a phrase that you can use there. A few years ago, I used to visit my relatives on Sundays. Okay, hace unos años, yo solía visitarlos cada domingo. Okay, and it says, now I will take the bus. Okay, aquí hemos confundido dos cosas, porque tenemos eh, now y tenemos future. No podemos ocuparlo así. Decimos, now I am in an English class. Now I am working with my teacher. Now I am uh, learning English, right? Uh, you can say, uh, or today, I, I, I don't know, I am on the bus, something just to invent a sentence. But you cannot say, now I will. Porque si usamos now, que es en este momento, y no podemos decir que lo vamos a hacer en el futuro. Porque re, ahí mezclamos los dos tiempos. Okay, y today... This day, they will come. Entonces aquí no podemos tampoco porque tenemos frases con future. Y no las podemos mezclar. No las podemos eh, eh, mezclar los dos tenses. Podemos decir, this day, eh, or this is the day to leave the documents 
of the employment contracts. Okay, or... Quit the will, entonces. Ajá, sí, porque no podemos mezclar futuro en ese caso. Okay. This week we will have the merchandise available for sale. En esta cosa, la tercera que tenemos aquí, en la tercera oración, la frase que está en presente es the merchandise is available for sale. Aquí la podemos cambiar. The merchandise is available for sale. Ok. Esa sería la frase en futuro. Ok. Porque esto de aquí no va. Porque es future. Todo esto no. Pero sí. The merchandise. We, we, uh, this, we, we, uh, this, we, this week we, we will have. We, eso es futuro. Uh, entonces, Esta semana entonces, vamos a tener. No se puede. La que está correcta es the merchandise is, tendría que tener aquí, uh, available for sale. Sí. Y así es una oración en presente. Mm, Very good. Yeah. October winds come to lift kites. That's okay. Girlfriends meet at a birthday party. Okay. Las novias se conocen en una fiesta de cumpleaños. Girlfriends meet at a birthday party. Pero en this case es como las chicas o las amigas se juntan en las fiestas de cumpleaños. That would be the meaning of that sentence. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next ones that you have. Next year I will visit my relatives. That's okay. In a few years I will travel to Spain. That's okay. In no time I will finish a master's degree in finance. You can say um, in five years I will finish a master's degree. Next year I will finish an English module. Okay, those sentences are correct. In a few days, I will finish an agricultural production project. Those are correct. Okay, well, I am going to check on my other kids. Voy a ver a los otros chicos, cómo okay. están. And I am Thank really you. thankful. Okay, thank you very much for this moment that you allowed me to participate. Escojan cuáles son las que van a presentar. De todas las que tienen ahí, eh, tienen que presentar una de cada tiempo. Okay, as an example. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to go to yes, number yes. one again to see okay. what they are doing. Oh, bye. Aha. Uh -huh. Hello, Mr. Alfredo. <laughs> Did you finish? Do you have your sentences? Yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. So we are going to go back to the main session to see uh, who is going to be the speaker. ¿Quién va a ser el que va a compartir? ¿Ya tienen asignado? Julito. Yeah. Ask Julio if he wants to share. Julio, do you want? No. <laughs> <laughs> His first answer was no. So it's, it's if he wants. It's like, Julio, do you want? Yes or no? If not, Alfredo. Maybe he's very willing to. It was democratic. Yeah. Was like, yeah. Mr. Alfredo. Mr. Alfredo. Mr. Alfredo say was walking at uh, to home at home right now oh, okay okay yeah. <laughs> if not that he was going to yes teacher who um, miss his cell phone and, and, and very very dog uh, one 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay let's go back to the main session my dear students and let's go back let's see okay here we go let's okay. go back Okay, welcome back. Welcome back, my dear students. We're going to listen to the different examples that you were creating with your groups. So group number one has a representative that is Mr. Julio. Group number two, who is going to be the representative? I have Ismael, Marlon, Miguel, and Milton. Who is the representative for group number two? Ajá. Miguel, teacher. Miguel. 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 No, no es Milton. De, 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 de democráticamente. Es Milton. You teacher. see, poor yeah. Julio was chosen democratically. Julio, Julio, Julio. And Julio was like, oh, no, no. But you see, no, Miguel. Teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher is Milton. Milton. Yeah. No, teacher, Miguel. Yeah. <laughs> no, Marlon, no. Ismael. No, I don't write. 
<laughs> okay, but you have your homework. The, the thing, Marine teacher. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Number three, I have Ana Romero, Blanca, Diomesis, and Maritza. Well, Maritza disappeared. Who is going Diomesis. to share? Diomesis. Yeah. Okay. Yes. You are the chosen one. De aquí bien, bien, bien. Ay, me encanta la democracia que tenemos. Yeah. <laughs> you, you yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, Julio, can you share your sentences? Yes, right. Uh, we choose three sentences. Yes. Uh, one for the past. In the 90s, the music was very good. Okay, in the 90s, the music was very good. Yeah. The second one. Uh, second for the present. Nowadays, uh, we should not leave the house if it not necessary. Definitely. <laughs> so the third about the future. 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 The future sorry. Yes. In the future, 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 future. We will have a new baby at home. We will have a new baby at home. And that sentence is from Anayansi. Anayansi. Anayansi is having a new baby in her house. Ah, yeah. she's going to have a new, a new little member in the family. Anayansi, you will be, you will be a grandmother. <laughs> Se nos va a ser abuelita. Yes. Ah, it's, so <laughs> it's so cute. No veo llegar ese momento en mi vida todavía. <laughs> <laughs> Group number two, democratically, Mr. Miguel, go ahead. My problem is not write all the the, the examples, but the sure, examples uh, you can you can share you can share three of your examples. Okay, my example. Yep. Okay. Um, in the nineties. I listen to pop music. Okay. A few years ago, I played soccer. Right? Okay. I played soccer, or I used played. to play soccer. Yes. Um, in the present, I study English. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, I am glad to sleep. <laughs> I am glad to sleep. Yes. <laughs> you remember in the past when you were teenagers, dormir, para qué? And now I want to sleep all the time. We are always tired. Group number three, Mr. Diomesis, go ahead. The microphone. The microphone, there you go, go ahead. Mr. Diomesis, no lo oigo. I see, I see. Yes. In, in the 19th, my friend liked tropical music. Uh, tropical music. Sí. Uh, no what the, uh, the October wind coming, uh, coming uh, to like it. Okay, nowadays the October winds come to lift, lift. kites. Kites. Uh, next year, next year I will finish an English module. Next year I will finish an English module. module. Very good job, my dear students. Fantastic job. Remember that when you use the time expression at the beginning, you have to match with the correct form of the verb. Very good job. Now, I am going to continue here. I'm going to continue sharing because I have some more exercises for this. Here, uh, I have a little practice here. And I say, before the automobile, and I have some options. In this one, we have people used to shop at small stores. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. Most people are going to work at home. People didn't travel as much from city to city. They will probably be cities in space. People work more than 40 hours a week. People played the first game of golf and doctors might find a cure for the common cold. 
if we want to classify the different options, option A, do you think it's past, present, or future? We have past, present, or future. And I am going to go here with the past. The past is going to be an X. Past, present, or future? The first one. Past, present, or future? People used to shop at the small stores. Past. Past, right? This is past. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. Present. Present. Present, right? Most people are going to work at home. Future. Yeah. Future, right? Future. People didn't travel as much from city to city. Past, present, or Past. future? Past, right? Because tenemos didn't. The, the next one. People, uh, sorry, there will probably be cities past. in a space. Past. This is future. past, right? Past. Future. Aha, uh -huh. future. Yeah. This is future. There will future. probably. Future. Tenemos will. The next one. People work more than 40 hours. We are. Present. People work. This is present, right? Present. 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 I, wait, 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 wait. I, I made the incorrect choice. Here we have present. Okay. Uh, people play the first game of golf. Past, past present, past, or future? Present. Past, past. Played, right? Played is past tense. Tenemos ED aquí al final. Y the last one, doctors might find a cure for the common cold. Future. Future, future. right? Yeah. This is future. Entonces, hagamos el matching. Before the automobile, antes que los autos existieran, what will be the matching for this phrase? D. D. People didn't travel as much from city to city, right? Because this is past. This is past and this is past, right? Before there were supermarkets. Antes que hubieran supermercados. Eight. Eight. People used to shop at small stores. About 500 years ago. Uh -huh. G. G, about 500 years ago, hace 500 años atrás. No, no. Uh -huh. yeah. People work more than four hours a week. No, mm, no, no. no, no. no. I don't think so. Uh -huh. mm. Let's analyze it. If not, we are going to go back and you are going to see the answer. In most offices today, En la mayoría de oficinas hoy en día. Sí. Most people are going to work at home. No, this is. No. This is present. Now. If. Aha, in this one, yes. People work more than 40 hours a week, right? It's letter yes. F. In many cities nowadays, en muchas ciudades ahora. B. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. Very good. Soon, pronto. Si. Sí. Most people are going to work at home, right? Soon, most people are going to work at home. In the next hundred years. Age. Age, right? Age. In the, a okay. cure for a Doctors might find a cure for the common cold or their there will probably be cities in a space, right? I think in the next hundred years, in los próximos 100 años, there will be houses or cities in a space. And sometime in the future, doctors are going to find the cure for the common cold. And believe it or not, believe it or not, about 500 years ago, People play the first game of golf. Por allá, quizás los mayas, los aztecas, los no sé quién, descubrieron cómo se jugaba golf. So, it's very curious. 
So before the automobile or the automobile, people didn't travel as much from city to city, right? Before there were supermarkets, people used to shop a lot at small stores. About 500 years ago, people played the first game of golf. In most offices today, people, there will, sorry, people work more than 40 hours a week. For sure, we work 44. In many cities nowadays, uh, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Soon, uh, most people are going to work at home and it's happening in the next hundred years. There will probably be cities in a space, right? And sometime in the future, doctors might find the cure for the COVID-19 because we need it, right? Ya yeah. tenemos tres vacunas, pero we need the cure for that. Thank you very much. Here, here we have an, a little bit of pronunciation. When you have, for example, here, the phrase, you say, in the past, very few people use computers. Okay, aquí subimos la entonación y aquí en el resto de la oración la bajamos. In the past, very, pe very few people use computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home, right? You go down on pronunciation. Practice pronunciation with me. In the past, very few people use computers. Very fast. In the past, very few people use computers. Today, people use computers all the time. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Very good job. So in this one, remember that the phrase at the beginning has a, a going up intonation, right? In the past, this is rising intonation. In the past, people, uh, very few people use computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home, right? So you mark the different uh, pronunciation parts like this. What changes, my dear students, what changes can you mention about these different topics that I have here? What changes can you mention in transportation, in technology, in fashion, in medicine, in sports? in entertainment, in food, right? I can say, in the, I am going to use one for food in the past. In the past, food was a little bit healthier than today. In the past, food was healthier than today. Okay? La comida en el pasado era mucho más saludable que la de our, right. In the past, food was healthier. Okay. In uh, the past, I can say transportation. Um, a few years ago, transportation uh, was not that dangerous. But now it is. We have to be very careful. What changes can you mention in technology about cell phones, for example? Many years ago, uh -huh. it's a big, bigger phone. Cell phones were bigger. Bigger. Right? Cell phones yes. were bigger. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's heavy. It's very it's heavy. Bigger and heavier. Heavy. Right? Heavier? Okay. If you are comparing, eran más pesados. Yeah. They were bigger okay. and heavier. Heavier. Yes. Okay. And in the future? In the future, it's very not small but not heavy okay um, there, there will be not small not heavy i think cell phones will be smaller well but, but depending yeah depending because uh, the iphones have the small and the big bigger <laughs> yeah, the yes a bigger many tablets in, in, two, <laughs> in 2050 you'll be like yes hello tell me <laughs> in a big phone like this in the future i think the phones uh similar to 
hay como se dice de vidrio o de glass. 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 They will be similar to glass. Yes, glass. It can be very good. Yes. What what uh, do you think will be different in sports in the future? What changes are we going to have about sports in the future? There will be uh, evolved through the technology. Okay, there will be evolved uh, technology for uh -huh. the sports. Through, right? through the technology. Yes. Mm -hmm. it, we are not going to have uh, the arbitros there in the middle of the yeah, game. Maybe a robot. <laughs> It mm -hmm. will be a robot. Maybe they will be like drones. Well. Yeah, or, drones. or we're going to have drones. Drones. Imagine drones following the, 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 the soccer the players, <laughs> checking on the penalties to see if it was penalty or not, <laughs> because it was not penalty. <laughs> well, that's what many people say. Like what? And the, and the other departs include the women. Yeah, the other sports are going to yes. include uh, women as well. Yes. What changes do you think we are going to have in education? Or what, what do you think about education in the past and education now in the present? The past, all the in the school. Uh -huh. In the past, now, all the education was at school. Include a virtual school. In now, the future, don't have the teacher, we have the robots Aww. for the kids. The teacher is not going to tell you that uh, he or she loves you. Hmm. I do. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I think the robots will never uh, substitute. Never. No, no, please no. <laughs> no, eh, if, the, if the need, the, em, como se dice, empatía. Empathy. Empathy with the yes. robot don't have it. Yeah, but they don't they don't have it. How do you think the medicine is going to change in the future? How do you think the medicine is going to change in the future? We have many different changes now in medicine, but how do you think it's going to change in the future? Do you think that all the procedures are going to be through computers? And the doctors are not uh, going to touch the patient? No. May, maybe the, um, the medicine uh -huh. is injective the, in general. Okay, it, it's going to be directly on yes. the body. Good, no pills or no nothing. Yes. Good, that's a very good thing. So the last exercise that we are going to do today, we're going to practice. And I have here the sentences and I have here the verbs that we are going to use, right? I know that we only have two minutes to finish, but uh, we are going to try to create the first ones and then you create the rest at home, at home, in your house as homework. In the past, people, and we have eat good food. As we have here, remember the different phrases that we can have for the past. We can have a used to or the past tense of the verbs. For the simple present, you have present, present continuous, or the normal verbs. And for the future, you can use will, going to, or might. Okay. For the past, you can have the past tense or used to for the present or present continuous and for will going to or might okay those are the three forms that we can use let's go back to the practice in the past people good food eat how can you complete this phrase in the, in the past, past people, people used to eat good food used to eat very good used to eat good food right in the past, people used to eat good food. I am going to make it smaller. Good. In the future, we find a cure for cancer. Fine.
Remember, this is in the future, so we can use will, going to, or might. We and will find, find a cure for cancer. We will find. We will find, and I think I have find already. Okay, we will find. Yeah. In this case, ah, I erased the two. Okay, I am going to erase only this one, and this is will. We will find a cure for the cancer. The next one, these days, people, a little exercise. Um, Remember that we can use here normal forms of the verbs in present people, or people present do. continuous. Do exercise a little. It can be, uh -huh. it can be people do exercise. Okay, do exercise a little bit or people are exercising a little, right? Uh -huh. And in this one, right now, children a lot about technology. Right now, children, the normal form of the verb. Going to know. No, 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 no. right now, en este momento. Present. No, the, nor the normal form of the verb. In this case, we can only Are. use. No. Right now, children know a lot about technology. Porque esta es una forma normal del verbo. Right now, children know a lot about technology. In 20 years, many animals and will will disappear. Okay, will um, disappear. Okay, my dear students, I need to go to the next class, but I am going to send you the screenshot for you to continue working on the exercises. Okay. Okay. There you go. I am going to send it to you on the WhatsApp so you can finish working on these exercises and we can share about this tomorrow in our class tomorrow. have a beautiful good night, night. Happy night. have a beautiful night, night. Good, night. good night good night take care bye bye, take care. bye, -bye.